All right, I'm Law Inside CHSP, and I'm gonna show you how to put on a full set of snow chains. In the bag, where it's one pair, you're gonna have two full sets of chains, a camber tightening tool, and mounting instructions. I also recommend having four bungee cords and some safety gloves. Instead of bungee cords, you can use a multi-arm shaped like a spider web. Comes in one piece, very simple. Okay, first, put on your safety gloves, lay one of your chains all the way out, untangle. Make sure we have all our hooks facing the same direction. Nothing is kinked, broken, bent or twisted. So these are nicely laid out. What I'm gonna do is find the center point, grab the end, and I'm gonna drape it over the tire. Try not to twist them up in doing so. On the back end here, you want to wrap in between the tires, around the tire, because we're going to want to back over them. The chains are centered, and I'm ready to back up. You can use a marker. We plan to back up about a foot, foot and a half. So now we have our drive tire fully on top of the chain. What we're going to do is take this hook and hook it to the, the chain. Start with the inside. Make sure your chains are still centered. Now when hooking it to the end link, it's a little too loose. So what we want to do is run this link through so this way you don't have a dangling chain and hook to a link to make it tighter. Remember, your cambers will finish it off. So now we're fully connected. We'll take our camber tightening and loosening tool. You can use either end, but this gives you more leverage. These cambers have a mounting chain link and a link that will slide through the groove. Turn it. And as I turn it, the chain tightens. We have one, two, and a third one down here. Twist, tighten. So now our chain's nice and tight, but we still have a little bit of movement. We don't want too tight, then we'll get binding. Next, you want to take either the multi-arm, which is a multi-arm bungee cord, or about four bungee cords of about 14 inches in length works. I like to start at the first mounting point to create tension and hold that in place. And run it across. And just work an X pattern. I also like to keep the tips of the bungee cords facing out, top to the bottom. and one straight across. Once all your bungees are in place or your multi-arm, we'll include a picture of that. 
Once you have all your bungee cords, your chains in place, it's recommended to drive 100 to 150 feet and then get out and check your chains. Make sure everything is still tight, your bungee cords are on property, nothing is binding or broken. Now I'm gonna show you how to remove these. First, you wanna move your bungee cords, loosen our cambers, our hooks. Remember, we're just gonna do it in reverse. Be careful when removing the bungee cords. You do not want to get struck in the face. Camber tool, remember, do not lose this. Keep it in the bag. Loosen your cambers. Undo your hooks. So remember, we slide it through to keep this from being a tag bouncing around. Disconnect the inside. So there's it unhooked. And now I'll show it hooked. We're completely unhooked. Bungee cords are off, or the multi-arm bungee is off. Cambers are loosened. Chain is unhooked on the outside and the inside. All we're gonna simply do, work it off the tire. Stretch it out. Now you're simply off your chains, completely unhooked. Slide them out. This is also a good time to inspect, make sure there's no issues before putting them back in the bag. So this way you're not wasting your time next time you need to use them. Take a little bit of care in folding them up so that they don't become a tangled mess inside the bag. 